All right. There's one of the 16 sears in the bucket of that tractor. I'm gonna go lift it up, up on the platform. That doesn't look like a camp to y'all, does it? It sure don't look like a camp to me. It looks like a mansion. train XL 69 heat pumps as you can see we're off the ground there's our disconnects line set line set over there we're gonna bend it down and come around so uh, let me get to work and I'll shoot some more in a little bit the beauties of new construction. I put 200 something pounds of pressure on this system when we did the rough in. Came here today, no pressure. Right inside there, I got a leak. The carpenters drilled or ran a nail right through my suction line. So now I got to cut this wall open on this brand new house. That's the beauties of new construction, guys. Looking up the testos, everything's done, they're ready to be started, so that's what we're going to do. We are going to fire these puppies up. Contactor. I heard this one energized too. Hey, there we go.
All right, y'all. Look, I'm having to shoot the rest of this video on my iPhone because my hat cam here that I made for myself, damn camera died. And I had a full charge on that battery, too. I'm not liking that. Anyway, uh, we got them both fired up. They are up and running. These are two uh, three-ton heat pump train XL16Is. see the ground down there we're up on a uh, platform here I believe we're looking for a nine sub cool on these units yep uh, the iPhone oh iPhone doesn't focus that great but it's it's nine it's a nine degree sub cool disconnects line sets that came out good I gotta put a piece of rubber right there sweet looking job so I got the time clock on we're gonna let them run and we'll finish charging them up all right here's a quick shot of our mechanical room that's the downstairs air handler it's down flow supply plenum this is the upstairs. And we've got an ERV. Because as you can see, this is a foam house. We didn't use Hyperions on this job because the particular Hyperions that we needed, they were out of stock on them. We'd have had to wait like a week and we, did, we didn't have that much time. So, they sold us, this is what they had left over, uh, these are the metal air handlers, which I'm fine with that, these are great air handlers, and they have the built-in clean effects. So the clean effects is actually built into this air handler, so he got a plus there, we got him at a good price, plus he got the built-in clean effects, so, can't beat that. Alright, here's the inside. Alright, we gotta climb up one more time, finish cleaning up, take another look. Pisses me off that my hat, that my camera went dead for my hat cam. Oh, this is a tight spot. Target subcool on these units is nine. There's a glare. We're at nine. Eight degree superheat. So I'm happy. Sweet job. Awesome pieces of equipment. These uh these XLs, they're something else. Very quiet. I don't know if y'all can hear that noise level, but that's with both of them running. I hated to have to shoot this video on my iPhone, but I had to get this video for y'all. So, I hope it's a good one. I hope y'all enjoy it. I did the best I could with the iPhone. Because my stupid hat camera went dead. Okay, guys. That's it for this one. See y'all on the next one.